right? Um, plus, I have a diagnosis, and uh, I think people kind of know what I'm thinking a lot of time. never had a direct encounter with male competition. I mean, the, thing, the things I've been trying to identify, I, I, um, I'm just concerned about that my situation may be coming to a head or coming to some sort of climax or something. It's like, uh, just my situation. It's still recording? Okay. Uh, it's just tobacco. But, Things have been changing lately for me. Um, today was a really good day. I actually felt like happy a little bit. I felt happy, and, and that's that's good, right? But uh, yeah, some some bad things have happened too. Um, things that are hard to explain. For me, anyways, because I don't socialize. And I have been lately. I'm just a little, I'm a little concerned. It's, it's, I think what it boils down to is male competition and female manipulation. And the state and the government and religions and corporations and all the stuff that this world is made of. And then I think there's also the collective unconscious that Carl Jung, I think, Chinese philosopher, used to talk about, and uh, Sigmund Freud referred to him a lot, was inspired, or a lot of his works came from Carl Jung. And they talk, they both talk about the collective unconscious, and I, I think there is competition. I've said that before. Um, I'm, I'm, a little, I'm a little concerned about my situation right now, and uh, three minutes, forty-five seconds. I'm just worried that all of a sudden it seems like I'm faced with people who are more m masculine or not, like. They're like more competitive that way, you know? And I'm not used to that. I've never been exposed to that, not socially, not, not in my childhood really. At one point I was, you know, I had a bully for, in fifth grade for a few months. Never, I mean, but in my adult life, I've never directly been had to deal with uh, competition, you know. And I'm worried that something bad's gonna happen to me. And I, and I don't know what it is.
I just, uh, it's, it's, it's a feeling and it's certain things that have been happening that, uh, people don't talk about with me anyway. And I'm scared. I'm a little scared. But I, I... I reassure myself that these things... Before they could make me... Uh, like, emasculate me, I guess you, could, you call it. Before it could take away my own... Masculinity. That I... I, I mean... There's all, I comfort myself because I would rather die than be somebody's, you know, yeah, I don't, I'm not even going to say it because, I mean, some kid could watch this video and I don't want that in their head. But I was told, you know, when I, I raised concern with someone, I, I spoke about it. I guess it's normal, is what I was told, is that it's normal for people to, for guys to measure up, to measure each other's, to test each other. And, and then I also know about the part where women like to manipulate. But I'm also involved with Human Resources, which is federally funded and ran by the state. And I'm worried about how they play into this whole situation. You know? I, I don't know what it's, what's going to happen. Because I have to meet with my caseworker at 8 a.m., this is earlier than I've ever met with a caseworker before in my 20 years, 20 plus years of dealing with uh, caseworkers. And, and I don't understand what, what's going on, the way he's talking, the things he says that don't make quite make sense. And I'm just worried that something's going to happen tomorrow when, when he picks me up, maybe. And I, I would, for a long time, I, because I, I fought with my mother a lot. I, I've kept her from being able, for them, from them to be able to release information to her. And I'm really kind of scared about tomorrow, considering what my caseworker said. And, or what he's been saying, that just the odd things, hints, I don't know what you would call it, but it's making me think that, you know, I could, pin, I could be, you know, they could take away my rights, you know, that's one thing they, they, they've clearly stated, they can give me a chapter 51, they can they, they mentioned electroconvulsive therapy and psychosurgery in the paper I signed. I've send, signed it at least twice. Um, and, and it is scary. You know, I think, I think they put that in there to scare me. Because I, have, I haven't had a good, good experience in this town. I've had the cops called on me more than once for very, very minute little slight variations and maybe what normal people would, would uh, how they would express themselves. Like, well for, well, for instance, I went to the local, well, I hope this timer doesn't run out now. Okay, it didn't. But, uh, 
I went to the local camp uh, and parks and recreation, whatever, local uh, information. It's, it's like the local office, and, and I asked for a pamphlet on the local camp camping grounds. And as I was leaving, one, two cop cars came, and they said that the guy called them and said I would I would I seemed out of it. And I get triggered a lot. I have, anyways. It's been like a head game with a lot of people. Um, and uh, I had the cops called on me at the local gas station. I won't even mention what they are, but we just we had been getting along really I when I went in there I you know it was always a good experience I uh some days they would say oh the coffee's on me you know it was like I felt good when I went in there and then one day she got really argumentative over the size of my cup of coffee and I kind of said well, why are you being a bitch and is she flipped out she flipped out she said get the f, f out and call the cops on me <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong I, I don't I don't know what I'm doing wrong But I have to go see my caseworker at 8 a.m. in the morning tomorrow. And he didn't say, let's go to this, the CSP, which is where I go, the community support program. He said, let's go to the, uh, well, it's called the leader house. It's where people go who are, but it's right above the CSP. So I don't know why he said leader house. Uh, Maybe, well, he, he is new, but the fact that he said that and it's at 8 a.m. And it just, things seem kind of weird. And considering what, what I experienced today. I don't know. I'm just hoping nothing strange happens, especially because I would really like my mom to be able to communicate, for them to communicate with my mom about what are what they're doing with me right now but i don't have time at this time of night to put that paper in before he picks me up at 8 a.m tomorrow and this guy's new and i i don't really feel like he he's very trustworthy i don't feel comfortable around him you know <laughs> but I don't know what to say, really. I don't know what's gonna happen. I hope nothing. I hope I hope nothing happens. I hope things smooth out, you know, especially with my neighbor who uh you know, I I was feeling the uh male competition that I was told about. But some people deny that it's happening. Let's just hope, let's just hope nothing bad happens. And I'll try to wrap this up under 15 minutes. Minutes. All right. Thanks.